Hi everyone and welcome back to Carmine Kismet. My name is Kelly and today on the vlog we are going to be talking all about Disney alternatives to a Disney wedding. So you're probably thinking how can there be Disney alternatives to a Disney wedding? But Walt Disney World is a really big place. So if you didn't see my first vlog about Disney weddings, my fiance and I were scheduled to get married on the Disney Cruise Line in September and our cruise just got canceled and along with it, our wedding. So a little backstory here before I get into these Disney alternatives and why we're looking at them. Um, I spoke with Disney fairy tale weddings thinking that we were just going to easily transition over to a Disney fairy tale weddings wedding. I was totally wrong. So I know that some people have incredible experiences with Disney fairy tale weddings. So off the bat, I do want to say this is not to say that you shouldn't look into them. For us, it just didn't work out because they weren't willing to work with us to kind of try to easily transition that over and work within our budget. So we are just moving on to other alternatives. And if you are in the same boat or you're looking for ways to kind of keep within your budget that may be a little bit different than what your uh, Disney Fairy Tale Weddings has for you, this may be some great options for you. Once our cruise was canceled and we figured out that Disney Fairy Tale Weddings was not going to be the route that we were gonna go, we knew we still wanted to get married in Walt Disney World, but we didn't know what our options were. So basically I've done a ton of research to try to figure out what are the best locations and what locations are there actually in Walt Disney World that will allow you to have your ceremony and reception or I guess I should say and or reception and still have that Disney magic. So there are nine options that I have found so far to have a wedding on Disney property that is not through Disney fairy tale weddings. What's so beneficial about weddings like this is that you can really make your budget and be more flexible in terms of what you're spending your money on. So with Disney fairy tale weddings, basically they give you an event minimum and you have to meet that minimum. And that's across the board for anything that's included in it that you pay for through Disney. With these types of events, you can be a little bit more creative in what you want to do. And that is by no means saying that you can't be creative at Disney Fairy Tale Weddings because you totally can. But with this, you can kind of decide if you don't want to spend $140 per person for a brunch, you don't have to do that. You can make those determinations where you want to spend your so these nine options that I've found that are on Disney property but aren't through Disney are both some hotels as well as restaurants. So I'll start off with the restaurants um, and these allow you to do ceremonies and receptions. If you're just looking for a reception venue, there's a lot of other options in terms of the restaurants and you know how flexible you are um, in terms of your pricing. There's a ton of options at Walt Disney World that you can pair with this as well. So the first one is Paddlefish in Disney Springs. Um, if you've seen uh, the big boat that's there, <laughs> that is Paddlefish. And basically you'd have your ceremony on the deck and then they can have your reception inside of the restaurant. You could just do your ceremony there or just reception. So those are two different options and it's very reasonably priced. Um, for a, a 20 person wedding, it would be about $500 for your ceremony plus a $150 attendant fee. And then your reception is anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000 plus dollars for your food and beverage minimum. Right next door to Paddlefish is Terralina, and Terralina does micro weddings. So these are going to be weddings that are 20 people or less, um, and it takes place on the lakeside terrace. So you actually look right onto Paddlefish, which is really beautiful. They have uh, three or four different locations for a reception, and this is going to be a little bit less expensive than uh, Paddlefish. So you're going to have a $300 ceremony fee with that $150 attendant fee. Plus then your food and beverage minimum is going to be dependent on the room that you're in, but it can be as low as $1,000. The other restaurant options that I found are also in Disney Springs. So this is going to be a different restaurant group. So Paddlefish and Terralina are actually owned by the same restaurant group. And these three are owned by a different restaurant group that are all owned um, within the same grouping. So this is going to be the Edison, Maria and Enzo's and Morimoto. So the Edison is a really cool spot. It's multi-level. Um, it's kind of like back in prohibition time. Um, so they actually will work with you to do a ceremony and a reception. I don't have pricing on this because they will work individually with you depending on your number of people and kind of what you're looking to do. So that's going to be the same thing for uh, Maria and Enzo's and Morimoto. However, if you do want to get an idea of 
pricing with them and things like that. They do have some group dining information online that you can check out and probably just get a ballpark of what you're going to be looking at. So the resorts that you can get married at on Disney property that are not through Disney, um, the ones that I found at least so far are going to be the Swan and Dolphin, um, the Shades of Green Resort, JW Marriott at Bonnet Creek, B Resort and Spa, as well as the Four Seasons. There are some other resorts um, at Bonnet Creek area as well as in the Disney Springs Resort area that I would definitely encourage you to look at if you're looking for some different options. Um, but these are the ones that I've looked into so far and all of them are really reasonable. So the Swan and Dolphin, I love this option if you are someone who wants to have a lot of Disney elements in your wedding because you actually can have Mickey and Minnie or some of the characters come to the Swan and Dolphin and be guests at your wedding. Um, it is a little bit of a hefty price, but if that is something that you're interested in doing, this is definitely a great option to consider. There are four different locations at the Swan and Dolphin and you'll actually coordinate your wedding through Just Mary, which is a Central Florida coordinating group. Um, so they're gonna offer you uh, coordination assistance um, a cake and champagne toast and the ceremony and then you can actually add on all different things that you may need uh, within their package and they'll give you just a package price. Because they do these package prices it's a little difficult to really say what the cost is but if you're looking at the most minimum um, expenditure it's going to be around $3,800. Um, and of course, make sure you check all those prices because I'm just saying what I found so far um, and for my group, but you know, for my group, we're looking at a pretty small wedding. So it may be, you know, obviously it's very much dependent on the number of people that you have there and the time of your wedding. So the next option is Shades of Green, and this is actually the um, Armed Forces uh, Resort that's on Disney property. Um, you do not have to be a member of the Armed Forces to get married there, but you do have to have a member that will sponsor you in order to have your wedding here. You can do both ceremony and reception options here, and there's package uh, deals for each of those. So if you wanna just do the ceremony, it's gonna be, I think about $2,500. And then when you do a ceremony and reception, you're looking at more of like a per person um, cost, and that's going to be dependent on having at least 31 people at your wedding. So um, check into that one. It's a really beautiful location, especially if you are someone who has members of the U.S. Armed Forces in your family. It's a really special location to get married. So the B Resort at uh, Bonnet Creek is a resort that I have actually never visited, so I can't really vouch for how it looks, but they have a really great deal for weddings. Um, they actually allow you to get two rooms included in the price that they provide you, and they do a per person cost. Um, I believe when we were looking, it was a little under $200 per person, um, and you're getting, or I'm sorry, it's a little over $100. Um, it was very, very much reasonably priced, but I think, you know, when you think about hotels, the things to remember is that you may have to bring in some more decor and things like that to kind of spice up the, the banquet hall if that is something that you're interested in. Um, but this is a great option if you're looking to really have a blank slate and just create something special for your wedding. The JW Marriott is one of the newest resorts at Walt Disney World and it's at Bonnet Creek, uh, the Bonnet Creek area of Walt Disney World. Um, and JW Marriott, of course, is known for their specialties um, and their exceptional customer service. So I'm sure that if you have an event here, it's going to be gorgeous. They have beautiful vistas of the Walt Disney World Resort. Um, that if you can get the outside venue, I think it would be just gorgeous for the background of your ceremony. Um, and I believe you can also have your reception outside. So I didn't get a ton of information from this uh, particular location because um, it wasn't something that I was probably going to be interested in, but I believe that you can do um, a ceremony for a little over, I'm sorry, a ceremony and reception for a little over $5,000 um, and that doesn't include service charges and fees, uh, but really great option if you are looking for kind of an upscale um, resort to get married at. And finally, the Four Seasons. So of course the Four Seasons is just, you know it's gonna be beautiful if you're getting married there. If you have not visited the Four Seasons before at Walt Disney World, I absolutely encourage you to do so just to even take a look at the location. Um, the grounds are gorgeous and you know, you're gonna get, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more here um, because you are at the Four Seasons, but they can basically create 
a whole weekend of events for your family and friends. Um, and packages start at, I think, around $6,500. And that would just be for the ceremony and, I believe, a cake tasting. So um, definitely, if that's something that you're interested in, reach out. Uh, they provide excellent service um, and are very willing to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below and I will try to get the information to you. Um, but I definitely encourage you to check out the blog post, which I'll link below as well. Um, that's gonna have a lot more information about pricing and who to contact, things like that, um, and links to all of the different locations that I talked about and pictures. So um, definitely check that out and definitely subscribe if you are not already. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up um, in our lives. <laughs> That we will be sharing um, including our wedding but also uh, we are moving to Florida so basically to Walt Disney World um, and we're really excited about that so I will put up a video kind of explaining that whole process and where we're at in that process please follow me on Instagram if you're not already and we can talk all about Disney weddings and all that fun stuff so thank you guys again and I will see you again next week